Hello and welcome. My name is Sonia Gavan McKay, and today is flight day six of Axiom Space's fourth mission to the International Space Station. Right now, we are live with the orbiting laboratory and speaking with AX4 Commander Peggy Whitson and Hungarian mission specialist Tibor Kapu, who launched from Kennedy Space Center on June 25th and have now spent five days aboard the station. Commander Whitson, how are you doing? It's so great to see you. We're doing great. We're having a good time up here. Tibor is adapting to space, as you can see, and learning to do his bad imitations. Exactly. <laughs> Trying to do my best. Great to see you, Sonia. Well, Peggy, you like to say space is your second home. So first of all, welcome back home. Tibor looks like he is settling in well. How's the rest of the crew doing? They're doing great. Everybody is really busy. Uh, we're getting a lot of science research done and, uh, and uh, managing to have a good time in the meantime. Good, good. Tibor, you're officially the second Hungarian national astronaut in space and the first on the International Space Station. How was the ride uphill and the transition up to the station? Uh, well, Sonia, I gotta tell you, the ride was awesome. Uh, much, much, much better than I expected. You know, uh, as part of the astronaut training, we are doing centrifuge training and, uh, and all kinds of stuff, which could simulate uh, all those G-forces that we experienced during launch. But when you when you do the real thing, that's actually much, much, much better, much different. So much fun, uh, so much energy, uh, acceleration, so much noise, so much vibration. And that goes on for eight and a half minutes. And then suddenly everything stops, only silence. And then you are in microgravity. It was, it was one of the best feelings and best things that I have ever experienced. Although part of the noise on the uphill was him and the crew <laughs> making a lot of excited noises. <laughs> I can imagine. I, I can imagine. <laughs> Once you were able to unstrap and look out of the window uh, and look at Earth, what were those first views like? What did What did you see? So, you know, uh, as a space enthusiast, you see all kinds of pictures of Earth um, during videos or, or just Google on the internet. Uh, but when you see it with your uh, with your eyes, real life, uh, it's it's much 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 more beautiful than you can imagine. So much colorful. Uh, so much more colorful, very bright. Uh, basically, you can only see beauty uh, on Earth when you're looking down. Uh, it was an amazing feeling. And once you crossed onto the International Space Station, what was that like? Can you give us a little bit of taste of what the experience is like getting on station? Station is much bigger than Dragon, so <laughs> <laughs> you, you, have to, you have to find your orientation first. <laughs> exactly. As you can see, I, I, I'm still struggling with orientations. Um, <laughs> So we were very lucky because uh, we have been uh, having, uh, you know, the the luck uh, to and the privilege uh, to train with this crew that we joined uh, the ISS before. So we had uh, common trainings. Uh, we also hang out uh, during our training. Uh, so the faces that we met here were not new faces for us. Um, they welcomed us with warmth. Um, we love them. They love us. They are they are sweethearts. Uh, in the past five days, they, they basically have been helping with everything. I literally had so many activities that would, have, would not have, have been possible without them. Uh, so we are really having a great time. Um, also, uh, when we when we joined and we had our welcome ceremony, uh, it was also a little bit emotional for us. Um, after ducking, we had one hour uh, until the, our, our event for the uh, for the welcoming ceremony, and also we received our astronaut pins from uh, from Peggy. And in that one hour, I managed to call my parents, uh, which was which was extremely special for me. Uh, basically, I was I was on the International Space Station for 20 minutes only, and uh, and I could still I, I I could already talk with my loved ones. Um, that was one of my highlights already in the first 30 sec 30 minutes of the of the flight. Well, you said that you were you were struggling with the with the upside downside and whatever. Can you can you give us a little taste of what that looks like? Right, exactly. So, you know, being in the space station is huge fun. Uh, we get to be, uh, be in microgravity all the time. Uh, and uh, as you can see, I'm struggling not only with orientation, but with words as well. So I think <laughs> I think the best is... That isn't best. anything to do with microgravity. No, <laughs> that's not because of that. <laughs> that might be, that might be space, thing, right? <laughs> so, yeah, I think, I think it's better if we show you guys, right? Yes. <clears throat> 
how, okay. uh, how, how microgravity looks like here. Okay, so I, we have a little demonstration right. plan. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay, this way? Whoa. All right. Okay. Station is so huge. Okay. All right. All right. Hang on, Sonia. Okay. <laughs> no, I, I, I will hang on as long as necessary. This is awesome. That's incredible. You're just spinning in a circle there? That's what I'm spinning in all kinds of direction. And that's what I call trust fall or <laughs> trust floating. <laughs> So you're holding on to the camera. Peggy is turning you head over tail. That is incredible. That is a yep. great example of the wonders of microgravity and what you're going to be doing kind of with the science exactly. on this mission, right? The experiments. We're, we're getting the power yep. of microgravity explained to us right here. You're our science project for the mission update. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I am. <laughs> He's definitely so a project. So Peggy, tell us a little <laughs> bit about those science uh, experiments that you're going to be doing. What what are we looking at over the next course of days? What what are we going to be doing? I say we, we like I'm part of the really crew. <laughs> yeah, you are part of the crew. You're part of the team. It takes lots and lots of people. We have investigations from the four different countries. And we're just doing a ver wide variety of things. My favorite is the Cancer and Leo study, Cancer and Low Earth Orbit study. Shook has already started his muscle uh, stem cell growth, uh, looking at how uh, muscles change in space because we know uh, our muscles atrophy unless we are um, uh, working out a lot every day. Tibor's done a whole lot of investigations. And this morning we just finished an ultrasound investigation looking at the cardiovascular system uh, and how it changes in space. And Suave has been doing also a lot of different experiments. And he did one on muscle stimulation where they were stimulating his muscles to see if that's going to uh, uh, impact or affect and improve his uh, muscle uh, ability to retain muscle during spaceflight. Uh, I'm lucky because I'm the control. They aren't doing muscle <laughs> stimulation on me. <laughs> well, other than the science, what are you two looking forward to over the next couple of days? Oh. My, we, we have so many investigations we haven't even gotten started yet with yet. And so continuing those investigations is really important to us uh, uh, and getting them all started. It's very exciting to be the hands the, of the scientists on the ground. Uh, for me, it's very satisfying. And so what about you, Tiffany? What, what are you uh, looking forward to? I would say the same. Um, science is a huge uh, and really important part of the mission. Uh, I had the privilege also to talk with some of the P, uh, PIs during uh, on the, the investigators uh, during the mission. Uh, they told me how much they enjoyed uh, watching me during their experiments in the in the past few days. So it was really an awesome experience. Uh, and also, uh, you know, on a lighter note, uh, we are really a part of a huge and international crew here. Uh, and um, and hanging out with these guys, uh, creating all those relationships and, uh, and friendships, building these out. Uh, that's also part of the experience. Also, I don't know if you guys can see it, but we have a guitar right here <laughs> on ISS, which which I planned to play with so many times, and I haven't even got to it. So <laughs> we will... <laughs> well, I have to give him a little bit of free time yeah, so he can exactly. get to more things. Well, I, I hope I will have the chance. So many, many things that we are looking forward to. That sounds incredible. Uh, on a lighter note, do, what did you all pack? Anything special that you brought along with you that you could share with us? Well, I, I brought something that I've brought for every space mission, and if I can find the necklace here, and it's uh, the necklace my husband gave me Aww. when we got married, and and this is the fifth time it's been in space. <laughs> this is my fifth space flight, and it's the fifth time it's flown in space. So. Most flown necklace ever. <laughs> <laughs> Tibor, did you pack anything special? Uh, I did pack a lot of special things, although uh, these are all, you know, uh, light and small things, uh, but um, they even have a bigger place in my heart. Uh, of course, I brought Hungarian flags. Um, this is small, this is light. As you can see, it, it's an indicator for airflow here in, here <laughs> in the space station. If, if you lose something, you just deploy this and you will find it. Uh, but I also brought actually uh, things from my grandmas, uh, both my late grandmas. Uh, from my father's side, um, this is a little book uh, of, uh, of the Hungarian anthem. This is a family heirloom, um, and I loved it as, as a kid. And it has so many uh, translations of the Hungarian anthem 
uh, which I could, which I could actually show you. This is the, this is the original, um, you know, writing. Uh, I like this so much. And the other thing is, this little spoon, which uh, looks like a golden spoon, but it's actually only gold coated. Uh, as a kid, I loved this so much. We had six of these uh, from my other grandma, from my mother's side, and uh, she told me when I was young that she will give it to me as a as a wedding gift. Well. That didn't happen yet, but I think it's <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe maybe it will happen, you know, at at, a, at some point of my life. Uh, but the fact that this could float to space, uh, that's already a huge thing. Seeing these objects, uh, both from my childhood, uh, gives me so much pleasure um, to you know uh, see this floating in space. Every effort off planet is truly incredible. Thanks for giving us a little peek into today on the International Space Station. As we close our time together, I know everyone here at Axiom Space and the teams in Hungary, Poland, and India, as well as those at NASA, ESA, and JAXA are focused on you and your efforts. We wish you well over the coming days and look forward to our next mission update together. <laughs>